everyone today we discuss about the one important topic or important chart as table in power bi so table chart is very very important in the presentation why it is important so we have a different data sets each and every data set contains the different different values so i want to present some data with the help of summary statistics so summary statistics contains the central tendency values and data variability so for that i want to present the data as per the requirement like requirement is year wise i want to show the summary statistics otherwise quarter wise i want to show the summary statistics month wise as per the requirement how we can show or present the summary statistics values so for that we use the table charts so in power bi here are the charts option all different different charts are present here and here is the your data or data sets uh, which you are already imported in imported from the different different data sources into power bi so today we discuss about the table chart so to use the table chart just click on this table chart here then you will get this table so the table wants only fields what are the fields you want to put into this table so in that table i want to show year wise summary status so year is the column or is the field of date master table okay so year is the field of date master table so i take year from the date master table and put here so here is the year but is the by default operation is applied on any numerical data in power bi is sum so i don't want to summarize the year value so i select here don't summarize so if you select this don't summarize you will get all different different years okay so 2014 15 16 and 70 so i want to show the summary statistics values like total so for that i use the sales data set so sales data set is another one data set or another table but how we can manage these two different table values in one so we already discussed about the relationships we create the relationships between date master and sales that's why we are able to face the two different table records in one table so i want to check the total <coughs> revenue some summary statistics on total revenue so for that i select the total revenue field from the sales table and drag and drop into the column values so here i get by default operation as sum for the total revenue so i get year wise total revenue okay so in summary statistics we find the average value okay as well as some data variation value minimum value maximum value okay so for that we again drag and drop the total revenue into the column value and here i select this triangle and set it as average here is by default selection is sum so i select it as average so i get year wise average year wise total revenue average okay then i select again total revenue and find out the minimum value for each year so i select minimum then i get the minimum of total revenue then i want to get maximum revenue for each year so i select 
this total revenue and select as maximum value. So I get the maximum value for each year. Okay. Then <clears throat> again, I select total revenue and find out the standard deviation in the total revenue or how data is variable or how deviation is present in total revenue. So I select this and find out. These are the some summary statistics value. As per the requirement, you can generate these values and present these values with the help of table. So I just, I want only sum of revenue, average of the revenue, minimum of total revenue and maximum. I don't want the standard deviation. So I just remove the standard deviation field and I select all these different values, okay? This, your table is ready to present these values, but here is the option to format these values or format this table with the help of these format your visuals, okay? You can select different, different styles of the tables from the style present. Here is the default. Then you can select any one, minimal, bold header, alternative rows, contrast, alternating rows, any one of these tables. So I select contrast alternating. So here you will see there is a style of the table is change, okay? With the help of style, you can change. With the help of grid lines, you can put here grid lines into the tables, okay? Values, you can set as per the values font, like I select Times New Roman for the values and size of the values increases, okay? I increases the size of the value, then bold the values, okay? Color of the value, I change the color just as, set as, like that, okay? Background color, I want to set background color like this, okay? It's not uh, doing good, I just want to change this color to this color. Okay, so as per your requirement and how you can uh, design your table, it's your creativity. Okay, for that, here are some options in this format your visual. So we for format our value field. But now I want to format my headers, column headers. So here is the option for to format the column headers. So I select Times New Romans, then increase the size of these headers, then bold it, okay? Then I want to change the text color as this and uh, background color. No, it's not good. So I say it as background color like this. It's also not visible clearly so okay as per your requirement you can say it okay so it's your creativity then header alignments so put header alignments at centers okay then total this is last row as a total you want to format this total you want to format your specific column cell element, okay? Then these are the different. Then in general, you can set different, different properties like size of the table and position, padding, advanced, then title of the table, effect. So in effect, there is a background. So uh, if you want to change your background effect, then you can change, okay? All these are the properties you can set for the table. And you can present your table like this year wise. You are presenting year wise total revenue, then average revenue, minimum of the revenue of each year, and maximum revenue of each year. So, this is 
important in the presentation or to present the data okay so for that we use this table okay to uh, to fulfill the requirements okay table tool or table chart is very very important in your data presentation okay so for today we stop here thank you